Hello and welcome to the readings for January 13th, 2019, which was the baptism of the Lord. The first reading for today is from Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1 through 4 and 6 or 7. And in some, you it could have also been chosen to have done Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 through 5 and 9 through 11. But we will be doing Isaiah 42. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a life of the nations, to bring the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeons those who live in darkness. The psalm for today was Psalm 29, verse 1 through 2, 3 through 4, 3, 9 through 10, or Psalm 104, 1b through 2, 3 through 4, 24 through 25, 27 through 28, 29 through 30. We will be doing Psalm 104. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. You have spread out the heavens like a tent cloth. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. You have constructed your palace upon the waters. You make the clouds your chariot. You travel on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, and flaming fire your ministers. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. How manifold are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have brought them all. The earth is full of your creatures of your creatures, the sea also, great and wide, in which are schools without number, of living things both small and great. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. They look to you to give them food in, their, in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. And the second reading for today was from Acts chapter 10, verse 34 through 38 or from Timothy, chapter 2, verse 11 through 14, 3, as well as chapter 3, verse 4 through 7. And we will be reading Acts, chapter 10. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites, as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, he went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Alleluia, alleluia. The heavens were opened, and the voice of the Father thundered, This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel for today was from Luke chapter 3, verse 15 through 16, as well as 21 through 22. The people were filled with expectation, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. And all the people had been baptized. And Jesus also had been baptized and was praying. Heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him, in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my be beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And those were the readings for today. Um, the homily happened that I was received happened to be a priest that we don't typically have, but I did think it happened to be a good homily. I probably should have asked if I could get his notes, and I'm trying to actually remember to do that. The main point of the homily, which I happen to agree with, was we need to do more, and I also... I mean, this is something that happens to be talked about fairly frequently. I hear Father John Ricardo talk about it and other priests, that we can't just go to Mass once a week for an hour and really call ourselves Christians. We need to go out, preach the Word of God. We need to draw closer to God through prayer. We need to just be better. We don't need to, as soon as we get out of Mass, go out and argue with one another. We need to show the world the love that Jesus Christ has shown us and that we need to go out and remember our baptism, our baptism, and show why we are so happy to have been baptized. Even if we can't remember, I personally can't remember. I was baptized February 24th, 
1991, if I'm remembering that correctly. I'll have to double check that. And my wife was Easter Sunday 2015. So I can't remember hers. I was there for hers. And it was technically um, Easter Vigil, so it was Saturday. But the point being, we need to go out and show why we wanted to be... If we did happen to be later converts, why we wanted to be baptized. And if we didn't happen to be, how we have learned from the love that our parents gave us and how we grew through that. Because a lot of us do happen to not understand. Like, we don't understand everything about it. And that's partially where I was about, I believe it's about three years ago now. I didn't understand the teachings of the church. I didn't understand why I should follow the teachings and everything else. But as I've grown deeper in trusting God, the church's teachings do make more and more sense and why we should follow the church that Jesus Christ himself established and why we should be better about this. And it's it's kind of amazing when the pieces start to click together how we do need to be better and trust in the Lord as the Lord has given us so much. He came for us and he died upon the cross. He took all of our sins, past, present, and future, into that one time and died for us. That way we might all be redeemed. What we need to do now is go out and evangelize people, spread the good news, that way they can know that they too are freed from their sins, and that they can make it to heaven as long as we all follow the word of the word of the Lord. Thank you very much for joining me today. You make sure that you all have a wonderful week, and God bless.